I would like all of you to join me for a moment. Raise your left hand, raise your right hand, and clap. Thank you. Have you ever wondered how you were able to do this when so many people in this world are facing challenges to do the same simple task in their everyday life? You could do this because the neurons in your brain could receive the stimuli, process it, and respond accordingly. But what if all the stimuli plus hundreds and hundreds of other stimuli are triggered in your brain at the same time? Could your brain handle that? No, definitely not. And that's exactly what's happening in a patient's brain struck by seizures. Seizures strike a person like a thunderous electrical storm that completely seizes the brain from functioning. It is a result of hundreds and hundreds of neurons firing at the same time, just like that monster. It could strike anyone, anywhere, anytime, without a warning. How scary is that? Today, millions of people in the world are affected by seizures and various other neurological disorders. They are often treated with drugs. However, there are a significant group of people who are not responsive to these drug treatment. They are left with no or very, very limited therapeutic options. A major challenge in devising a versatile therapeutic option is the lack of tools available to study, understand and explore the root causes for these neurological disorders. Hence, my research proposes a versatile device that could enable these studies and in turn develop versatile therapeutic options. How? By illuminating the brain using light. How easy is that? The neurons in the brain are not responsive to light, but they could be made sensitive to light using gene therapy. This way, these neurons act like a switch that could be turned on or turned off based on the wavelength of light used. So we could selectively target specific cell types in the complex neuron structure and illuminate them and alter their activity. A major challenge is how do we illuminate the brain and when do we illuminate the brain? To solve this issue, I've developed a neural recorded device which continuously monitors the brain state. It can also differentiate the normal brain activity from the abnormal brain, ac brain activity. So, whenever there is an abnormal brain activity, just like that monster, the device immediately picks it up and in turn illuminates the brain. This illumination can target those specific cells that are responsible for this neurological disorder and bring it back to normal state. This way, we could transform this monster into a more calm and contented humanitarian. Through my research, I propose to contribute to the growing body of brain research and influence millions of people's lives. Thank you.